Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy Note 10 plus the Exynos chipset. I was searching GSI ROM and I found this uh, ROM. The name of the ROM is Miku UI. This is what we are getting the Android version Miku UI and it is Android 15 coming with the latest update Android 15. Miku UI version is Vampire 0.6.1. The build type is unofficial and uh, maybe the developer name, the build number and enforcing you are safe now. This is like a, a little bit different ROM if we see, if we compare it with the uh, other AOSP ROM. So this is the settings interface that currently you can see with this AOSP ROM named Miku UI. The secret I have always dream of Miku no secret stuff if i tap on it this is what we are getting with this rom miku media notification no icon factory screen power saver miku ui music center something like this and obviously this is the gsi build so the treble settings are also provided well i uh, checked the video recording i was not getting uh, the uh, audio with my video recording then I turn on this option and then the video recording audio fix so we are getting few uh, features and options and modification in this tra travel settings if anything's not working properly we can come here we can check the things out ROM is coming default with the Google applications there is no need to flash the caps separately and the device is not certified actually. Applications that you can see on the my mobile phone except these two. These two by default coming with the ROM and other applications like WhatsApp, TikTok, uh, Snapchat uh, straightly downloaded from the Play Store. The, the calling is also working with this ROM. This is the SMS that I got when I uh, insert my sim card and uh, this is the control center we can see the miku ui cartoons type of things uh, to, uh, on the top side of the control center the flashlight is working well mostly the stuffs are working with this rom and this is the gsi build so we can try if we want we can try this rom on any other mobile phone if you want to flash this on your galaxy note 10 plus then watch the further video. Do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel also. Thank you. To flash the GSI build ROM on your mobile phone, your mobile phone must have an unlock bootloader and also your mobile phone must have a custom recovery installed. Before flashing the ROM, you need to check the mobile phone battery. It must be charged. And uh, you need to save all the internal storage data because the data will get formatted. If you have turned on the lock screen, just try to Turn it off by selecting the swipe. In case if you have one UI on your mobile phone, if you have logged in your Samsung account, remove the Samsung account, otherwise you will get issues with the custom recovery. Sync your Google account, then must remove to avoid issues later on. And simply power off the mobile phone when you have done all these things. We need a data cable and a computer. Check the other side of this data cable must be connected with computer. As I said before that mobile phone must have a custom recovery installed. So we will boot the mobile phone into custom recovery. The mobile phone that I got having an unlock bootloader already and also having a custom recovery installed. The mobile phone is supposed to be power off. Connect the cable with the mobile phone. Then press and hold the volume up key, power key, just wait. Release the power key when you see Samsung logo. Just wait for to custom recovery. Do not release the volume up key. And few seconds like then you can release the volume up key. The mobile phone will finally boot into custom recovery. We have to wait. I got a team in recovery on my mobile phone. So I have to allow modifications. We have to check the storage. I will tap install and the storage that folders name is not in proper form it cannot be readable so the storage got encrypted we have to decrypt the storage tap y and tap format data type y e s and tap here when turn go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery
swipe to allow modifications mobile phone internet storage will pop up on your computer screen like i got this one samsung d2s so the rom file is actually coming with the zip format uh, and we have to extract it first before transferring it to the mobile phone after extracting open the extracted folder you will find the image file with the name of the rom right Currently, the name of the ROM is Miku UI Vampire, and this is for ARM64 only, not for ARM32 and AB slot. Copy the image file from the inside subfolder, then go to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the ROM file on the internal storage. So, the copying procedure will take a time, so we have to wait. I got the file on my internal storage. Well, right now I am done from computer. If I need the computer uh, again, then I will reconnect my mobile phone with the computer. On the mobile phone screen, press the power button, then unlock the TWRP recovery screen. Tap wipe and tap advanced wipe. If you can see or if you can find the system partition over here, just uh, tick, put a tick sign, select the system partition, and then swipe to wipe. Turn, then go back to main screen, tap install, then tap install image and select the file that I just copied by tapping on it and then scroll down, select the system image like uh, putting a tick sign or something like that and then swipe to start flashing. Well, flashing done, then go back to main screen, then tap wipe, tap format data, type YES and tap here, tap reboot system. I am not disconnecting the cable right now. Finally, the ROM started booting. Now, disconnect the cable from the mobile phone when you see the ROM is started booting, right? And it will take a little time. So now we have to wait. Finally, first boot completed. I will take out my SIM card and it asking me to restart. So it was asking me to, re to restart, but I'm not going to restart. I will complete the setup screen. Weird type of sound is coming like tapping on it. This is actually a feedback and with a sound. Finally, ROM got booted on Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The GSI build the latest ROM having Android 15. I will go to settings. Yes, I can see that the resolution is a little bit smaller. And we have to, if you want, you can just change the resolution by going to display, then uh, tapping display size and tax over here. And if you can see the display size over here, just tap a plus sign to make the display a little bit bigger. So, yes, it is now much better. This is what I got before and right now. Miku UI Android 15, Miku UI version is Vampire 0.6.21 unofficial build thank you for watching my video we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye